Yo, what is good, YouTube? We're back with another video. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe. These videos take a lot of time. They really do. You know, I'm researching to find out what cards are the best to put in these videos. So make sure you show love. Check the links in the descriptions, all that good stuff. But get that being said, today we are going over the top 10 best budget cards in NBA 2K22, my team. I'm going to get right into it. There's a lot of really good budget cards. And there's reasons why these 10 cards have been chosen, and I'll explain why, so there's no reason to argue with me. If you prefer a different card, a different budget card, drop it in the comments so I can add it in the, recent, or in the next video, and then I can help other people with it. But with the first card, one of my favorite budget cards, whenever an unlimited event comes out and I can use a pink diamond, this is going to be the card I use. Actually, it's not going to pop up like that. But this is going to be the card I use. It's going to be Pink Diamond Kyle Korver. You just really you just really can't go wrong with it. It's a really good card. It just to have a card that's, you know, this good, it can shoot this well. You know, I mean, for the price, you're going to get him you're going to get him pretty cheap. He's going to be around the 6k mark. You can probably get him even cheaper if you really wanted to. But the 98 three-point shot, he's not terrible at dribbling and he has actually really good defense for the card, almost stacking up with Dwayne Wade. And for the badges, he has every shooting badge you would possibly want. Blinders, corner specialist, catch and shoot, limitless spot up, chef. He's got everything. It really is just an amazing card all around, especially for the price. For 6,000 MC, you just, you know, you can't really, you can't argue against that being on the list. But that being said, on to the next one. It's going to be a power forward named Tyler Hansborough. Got a really good jump shot, just overall a good card. He's got good badges. He's got the catch and shoot. He's got rim protector, interceptor, intimidator, rebound chaser, post lockdown, it, fast twitch, so you can really finish at the rim really well. He's a perfect guy for pick and roll. His driving dunk isn't high, but it's good enough to where when you're running the pick and roll, he'll dunk. He, he will dunk. So that's really all you want. His ball handle for a power forward that's uh, 6'10", right? Yes, he, he's 6'10", so, I mean, with an 82, 83 ball control, that actually is really good. He has good interior defense. He has a great block, great steal, and an 84 perimeter defense on a 6'10 player. In no world is that bad. He's an amazing rebounder, and he's not slow. Don't compare it to Rudy Gay because Rudy Gay has a shoe, and he's also shorter, but... I mean, you just, everything with this card, this card, you're going to pick them up for like 5,500 MT. You could probably go even lower than that, but at 5,500... It's just, it's a no-brainer. It really is. Keeping it at the big man position, we're going to go with Tom Chambers, a card that's been out for a decent amount of time but has not gotten worse. It honestly has kept up with the pace. You're going to get him for about 5300 so another card keeping it really cheap, really just, he just can do everything. As you see, everything's going to be lower than Rudy Gay. Don't pay attention to that because it's a Galaxy Opal, but nothing is super, like, nothing's a lot lower. Like, he, his three-point shot's only three less. His mid-range is only four less. He could shoot amazing driving dunk with a 97. He could still dribble, even with his height, because he's pretty tall, too. He's he's 6'10". So having having an 86 ball control at 6'10", you can't, you just can't complain at that. 97 driving dunk. He's going to be dunking everything for you. And then defensively-wise, this is definitely somebody I'll run at the four. It, it, He's just good at everything. He's not terrible at nothing. He can defend the perimeter. He can he can defend the interior. He can get you steals. He can contest shots. And then he can rebound. He's a very good rebounder. Good speed. Good speed with ball. Good acceleration. Great vertical. Somebody who's really going to be able to just meet somebody at the rim or be the one that they don't want to meet at the rim. You know, you drive inside. Just with that dunk, you're really going to mess him up. Like I said, at 5,300 MT, Somebody who's, he's not going to drop, he's not going to go up, he's probably going to stay around that point, but just somebody that is just a really good card. Keeping it at the big man spot, we're going to come over here to Greg Oden, another center. He came out not too long ago, from what I remember, not too long ago, but you're going to pick him up for about 7,000 MT. Seven foot center would just, honestly, he could do everything. The 73 point shot, you might look at it and say, no, that's not good enough. But by the time you're getting dimer from your point guard, you're getting your coach boost. You could throw a shoe on him. You can do any of that. It honestly is plenty. The ball handle, he's going to be your center. You're not going to play him at power forward. You're going to play him at center, so you don't worry about that. But he'll be able to shoot the ball. He'll be perfect for pick and pop, especially from the mid-range. He can finish at the rim. But then the defense is where this card really is just a difference maker. As you see, he really stacks up to David Robinson. 
Uh, the steal is higher than him, even with David Robinson having the shoe boost. Same with the perimeter. Actually, David Robinson has him on the perimeter, but that's because he gets plus four from the shoe. So perimeter is comparable. Exact same interior defense. Better rebounding. He is slower, but if you throw a speed shoe on him, he's going to be fast enough. He'll be plenty fast. And like I said, you don't have to worry about speed with ball. Not somebody you're going to be handling the ball with. So really, at 7,000 MT, this is just a card you really can't say no to. But now, we're going to start getting into just a little bit less budget. It's still budget. We're not going into nothing crazy. But we're going to go into RJ Barrett, who you're going to pick up for about 13,000 MT. So just a little bit more expensive, kind of taking the step up. But oh, is it worth it? This card right here. It's just it really is one of the best all around cards. Six foot six, two hundred fourteen pounds. He could do absolutely everything, and he does it well. Ninety nine ball handle. I mean, he can just he can move. He can basically move. He's obviously his ninety nine driving layup. That's the other part of his maxed out. Not really gonna matter because it doesn't have to be ninety nine. As long as it's ninety or above, you're happy. So I didn't like that they gave him that as the other maxed out. But I understand why you can't make him too crazy. The 99 ball handle is kind of already crazy enough. But as you see, there's nothing he can't do. He can finish. He can shoot. He can dribble. The, def the defense is honestly fine. It, it really is. I mean, he can defend the interior. He can defend the perimeter. He can get steals. And he doesn't have a bad block for, you know, a six foot six guard. Rebounding-wise, he's not really going to be rebounding. You could throw a shoe on him if you wanted to. You probably would put just a defensive rebound issue like I did for T-Mac. I like my guards to be able to rebound because I, you know, sometimes they'll break the box of your center and the guard is the only option for the rebound. So I like to have my guards so where they can rebound. Speed stacks up to T-Mac. T-Mac has 95, but he gets 99 after my shoe. So he has similar speed and speed with ball to T-Mac. So really, I mean, this card, it really does stack up to T-Mac well. He's got good badges. He has catch and shoot, hyper drive, clamps, interceptor, pro strider. He really... He really can do everything. It's just an amazing card. And yeah, we're going to move on now. Going back to another Hawk shooting guards. They did the Hawk shooting guards very well in this game. As we're going to go to Cam Reddish. Just a demon. I mean, he's really he's really just a demon. He's a little bit cheaper than RJ Barrett. I almost like him more. Because with this type of card, it's just another one of those cards that's just tall. He's going to play amazing defense. And he just has an amazing jump shot. A lot of people over the years have grown to like a Cameron Reddish card. You can't really go wrong with it. Really good three-point mid-range combined. Got a really good driving dunk. Obviously, not an amazing ball handle, but he can dribble. Put a shoe on him, you're fine. At 6'8", you live with an 86 ball handle. You take the height. Running him at the two guard is what I would do. I wouldn't run him at the three. I think he's perfect at the two. It gives you height. If you go up against somebody with a T-Mac like me, you're matched up perfectly. You don't have any mismatches. And then you get the 99 steal, you get the 94 perimeter. So great defense. You don't have to worry about the interior or the block. You could put a block shoe on him, but I probably wouldn't. Rebounding, just like I said last time, I would put a defensive rebound boost on him because, like I said, I explained it. I like my guards to be able to rebound. Speed is great. Speed with ball is iffy. I would, I would, if I had to choose between the two, 100%, I would put speed with ball shoe boost on him. But you wouldn't have to necessarily. But in terms of badges, he's pretty much got the same amount of badges. They're just a little bit different. He's got catch and shoot, pick dodger, clamps, interceptor, post riser. I, I'm surprised they gave him pogo stick with considering they didn't give him a block. I feel like that was kind of a waste of a badge. And then he's got downhill, quick first step, menace, ball stripper. But for 10k, I promise you the jump shot and the defense that he'll provide with the height, it really is worth it. Now we're gonna kind of we're gonna tone it down just a little bit. We're gonna get to some bigger stuff. But we're going to tone it down just a little bit with a Rudy Gay Pink Diamond. This card is kind of old. It's from Christmas. You might look at it and say, uh, kind of an old card. But I promise you, any Rudy Gay card is a good card. He's got nine Hall of Fame badges. Only going to run you 6,700 MT. With nine Hall of Fame badges being 6'8", he's got an amazing jump shot. Rudy Gay always does. And as you can see, he's not that much worse than his Galaxy Opal. He's really not. I mean, obviously, the Galaxy Opal has better stats, but they're, none of them are, like, blowing them out of the water. If you really look at it, I mean, the biggest thing is the interior defense, and that's because I put a shoe on him. It, really, this Pink Diamond card is a great all-around card. He's going to play defense. He has ball handle. He has the shooting. And really, the 86 three-point shot, I promise you, with this card, will feel like a 99 because Rudy Gay just has one of the best jump shots that 2K has ever given a card. Nine Hall of Fame badges. 
it's it's just it really is all you need. You get the post riser, you get the difficult shots, you get the fearless finisher, you get the unstrippable, you get the volume shooter and the fast switch. All of those you have to have. You don't need much more. Gold for catch and shoe and all these is going to be plenty, I promise you. With that jump shot, this card is an absolute demon. And for 6700 you really just can't say no. Now we're going to get into a bit of a twist here. We're going to go for Thurl Bailey, not the Opal. We're going to go for the Pink Diamond because really, this card should not take you more than an hour, maybe an hour and a half to level this card up. It's super quick. And actually, you could probably buy the level up uh, there's the, like the token thingies. You could probably buy them. I don't think they're that expensive to be honest. But this card is only gonna run you seven thousand, and just this card is so valuable because you could play him at the three. He's six foot eleven, and he does everything. Especially once you put him to an opal, he already has the three point shot. He already has the mid range, the ball handle, just everything. He can play defense on the perimeter inside. He can rebound. He's not slow. He's almost as quick as Rudy Gay. Obviously, Rudy has the shoe, so let's cancel that out. But he really is just overall, like, it's people kind of don't realize how good this card is. But with 10 Hall of Fame badges, I think he gets th two more? Three more after you upgrade him? Something like that. But really, these are all the badges you need. You get the quick first step, limitless takeoff. You get Pogo. You get Posterizer. You get Interceptor. You get Fearless. I mean, what more could you possibly need? But really, with this card, it's perfect to run at the three. It just gives you just more height in your lineup. That's one thing I always go for. I try to make my lineup as tall as possible. Get as many rebounds as you can. I don't want people getting offensive rebounds on me. But for 7,000, and I guess we can go look at it in the... It should be somewhere in here, I think. I'm not exactly sure how you would, how you would find it. But basically, like I said, you can get his his little upgrade pass thing. It I, I don't think they're very expensive. It probably won't even be 5,000 MT. But moving on, we're actually going to get into some Galaxy Opals with Yi. I'm not sure how you say his full name. I'm not even going to say it. But just a good card. He's got 15 Hall of Fame badges. This one's going to run you about 14,000. So a little bit more expensive if you can't afford it. Greg Oden is still an amazing op option, but this card is a little bit better. He's got a better shooting uh, stats. He's got a better jump shot, but with 93 three-point, 91 mid-range, he's got pretty pretty good ball handle. I mean, especially if you're going to run him at center, he's 7 foot. So you're most likely going to run him at center, and with uh, 86 ball handle, you really can't complain about that. His defense is the iffy part. That's why a lot of people don't use this card, but I promise you, it's not as bad as you think. I go up against this card a lot, and he really does defend the paint better than you might imagine. Got amazing rebounding. He's a little bit slow, but he's faster than Greg Oden, so I wouldn't worry about it. And if you put a shoe on him, you could. And when I say shoe on these cards, you don't have to put a shoe on any of them. I'm just letting you know what I would apply the shoe boost to. And for this card, it would be athleticism. It would be speed, speed with ball, acceleration, and probably interior defense. That's what it would be for this card. But with 15 Hall of Fame badges, he gets the shooting badges, he gets the defensive badges, rebound chaser, pogo stick. He has Hall of Fame blinders, which is very interesting for a center. But that's one thing that makes this card very, very good. Hall of Fame sniper. He's got all the good stuff. And yeah. Now wrapping it up, last card is going to be Pete Maravich. A card that is cheap because it came out in a locker code, which is also why Yee is cheap. They both came out in locker codes. This one's going to run you about... 11,500. You shouldn't pay any more than that. But this car gets buckets. Let me be the one to tell you. A lot of people have proven to me that this car gets buckets. Super high three point and mid range. His driving dunk is only an 80, but I promise you he dunked better than that. I don't know how he dunks better than that, but he does. He has an 80 driving dunk. Don't let it fool you. He can dunk. But everything else finishing inside, he will make every layup. Amazing ball handle, better than Westbrook, and that's with the shoe. <laughs> Think about that. Better than a dark matter with a shoe. And Westbrook has never been known to not be able to dribble the ball. He can dribble the ball. Defensively, you're not going to get the box from him, but you get the steal. You get the perimeter. You don't need interior from your point guard. Rebounding, it's not terrible. He's not going to have Westbrook rebounding, but 80 defensive rebound on a point guard is never terrible. He will get up there and get the boards. 96 speed, 95 speed with ball, 96 acceleration. You just, you really, you just can't say no to any of that. And then with the 19, I think this one's upgraded. No, no, it's not. He gets 19. Okay, well, 
this just got even more crazy because 19 Hall of Fame badges on a card that's going to cost you maybe 11000 probably 10 Sit on the filter for a little bit. You're going to snipe them. So you got, you're going to have Ankle Breaker, Hyper Drive, Dimer. So just like I said, if you get Odin, here's your Dimer. There's your Dimer right there. You get the Dimer. You get Hall of Fame Blinders. You get Circus Trees, Threes, Chef, Slithery Finisher, Downhill, Quick First Step, Floor General. So you're going to get Floor General too. So if you think about that, really that Greg Odin is even better because you get Floor General and Dimer. So if you think about it, as long as you... As long as you get a good point guard like this, that Greg Oden is plenty good at center. So I, if you had to make a choice between an Opal center and an Opal point guard, go with Pete Maravich, take the pink diamond center, don't take the pink diamond point guard, because this card is absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any video suggestions, you know, put them in the comments. I'll read it, and I'll probably, I'll probably go with that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm not going to make it any longer than it has to be. Like the video, subscribe, and I'm out.